let's get it. What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Key channel. Thank you so much for watching. Before we get into this Q&A video, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, click the like, share this video, and click the notification button so that when I post a video, you get notified right away and you can watch it right away. All right guys, let's get into the video. A couple of days ago, I posted on my Instagram story and I wanted to know what you guys wanted to know about Johnny Q. And so for this video, it's gonna be a Q&A. Basically, you guys ask questions about Johnny Q and I answer them, so let's get it. First question is by Shelby Joy. What made you think of doing spin art? What's the story? Everybody, everybody asks me. I literally get asked this question 100 million times a day. It's it's no joke. Everybody wants to know when it started, how I started it, and how it, it became a thing for Johnny Q. I'm gonna answer this very quickly. COVID-19 started, I was like, yo, Sarah, my wife, we cannot just sit at home, watch Netflix the entire two months. We have to do something creative. So we kind of thought maybe some like arts and crafts would be kind of cool to do with the kids. So I went to Walmart, I bought canvases, paint, uh, brushes. I got back home, we set up in the backyard and we just started painting. And then I realized, yo, what if I could just like make some cool designs but without using brushes and without smearing the paint? Could I throw it? And so I started putting paint on a canvas. I started throwing it and chucking it. Some of my first pieces were just that, putting paint on the canvas and just kind of tossing it. Okay, this looks kind of cool. What would happen if I could get something to spin it faster? Would the design look different? Would it look cool? And so I attached the canvas to a drill and I started kind of making those creations, those canvases come to life and that's how spin art started. I set up a website, I started selling them and now that's what you know Johnny Key spin art to be. That's where it came from. This next question is Zay Zay Arts. How did you come up with the idea of spin art? Honestly, I, I just I just did it. Like I didn't see anybody else do it. I wasn't like looking at other people's creations. I just wanted to do it and see what the results were gonna be like on my canvas and my paint. And I just started it. <laughs> this next question is by Gherkin Pooney. Sorry, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Do you answer fans messages, LOL? Yes, I just answered yours. Next question is by Darling Demon. Which is your favorite art from all? I mean, honestly, I have so many that I have made. Anything Johnny Q Galaxy or anything like absurdly weird in the color combo that looks really good, those are my favorites. <laughs> but I just honestly, I can't pick just one out of the thousands that I have made. This next question is from Diana from Venus. What's your favorite hobby that's not art related? If you don't know Johnny Q before spin art, you know that I'm a musician and I've been a producer, I've been a manager, all things music and business marketing. And before I did spin art, I was a traveling bass player, a traveling musician with bands, artists, uh, all over the world. I also did marketing for businesses. I, I did social media, digital media, I did advertising, I did a lot of Facebook, Google ads. I mean, anything digital media marketing wise, if you needed it, I got it for you. So. That's what I used to do. The next question is from I Want a Golden Doggo Pup. <laughs> Where are you from? Also, you're super encouraging and keep doing what you're doing. So I'm from, originally I'm from Eagle Pass, Texas. I moved to Minnesota, then I graduated college in Minnesota, then I moved from Minneapolis to Wisconsin, then from Wisconsin, I'm now in Missouri with our family. I also get this question asked all the time. This question's by C Ortega 11 underscore SSTC. How do you get the canvas to stick on the drill? I can't tell you. They always say that and people are like, ah, oh. but again, people have done it. You can do it their way. This next question is kind of interesting. Isaac Childress, how did you get big so fast? I also get this question asked all the time. Honestly, I have this mantra on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, I've, I've done it. I've had it for the last three to four years. Hashtag keep on creating. In whatever industry that you are in, if you want to do that full time, the only way to do that full time uh, and to create an income from what you love to do is create. Create content about that piece. Like from where I am right now, it's taken me a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of sacrifice, and a lot, a lot of content. So, content. This next question is by Soph. Uh, one, two, two, eight. What inspired you to start doing what you do? Is it something you wanted to do since you were a kid? To be very honest, yes. And by when I say that, I mean 
the social media side, the, be, the becoming a, a someone that can influence a group of people to do something. It's been a long road, it's been a lot of work, but my whole goal was to become self-sufficient, to become uh, an entrepreneur in what I do and to create a business off of my products and or myself. So it's now becoming a reality and it's something that I've always wanted to do. This next question is by I am Art Hegg, I believe. Sorry if I bought your name. His question is, would you consider other things outside of spin art? Also 200K in week, legend. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, 200K in about six days. As far as your question, would I consider other things outside of spin art? Totally, and I do it now. At some point in my career, I want to help other people, whether financially, whether it be giving, you know, opening up uh, a small business, helping other people in that regard is something I truly want to do and I want to help give back to others because I never got help starting out this entire thing and hopefully I can make a difference in someone's life or lives by helping them in what they want to do. Next question is by Malik Miller 99 What's the hardest step in starting a small business? The hardest step was just fighting with myself in my mind. Is this gonna work? Probably not, I shouldn't do it. Then I kinda like back off for a bit. Then I think, wait, no, I'm Johnny Q. I have to do it, I gotta do it. I gotta get into it, get in the trenches and just start making it happen. I think that the hardest thing that people encounter is just getting it started. Cause once you get something started, you, you think to yourself, oh, that actually was kinda easy. That wasn't as hard as I thought. Then you get to the next step. Then you kinda conquer that. You get to the next step you conquer that. You go to the next step, you conquer that. So it's just starting that I think is most difficult for, for people. I also get this question asked all the freaking time by Brandon underscore Ruiz. Are you Mexican? I'm Hispanic. I'm half Mexican, half white. I'm from Texas. I'm a Tex-Mex. Tejano. That's what I am. Hayes Cathy 108 says, who's your favorite fan? Obviously me, LOL JK. Yes, you are. <laughs> Lil Baller Lauren says, how long have you done spin art? Uh, it will be a year in March. That's when I started it. Question from Nick2D5D underscore YT. Uh, what store do you get your paint and canvas? So all of the materials that you see that I have on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, all through Michaels. Thank you so much, Michaels. You guys are awesome. This next question is by Ramos Fitness. Do you plan out your content? About a year and a half ago, that wasn't on my mind. I was just creating, posting, creating, posting. Nowadays, I plan out everything. Well, there it is, guys. I wish I had time uh, to answer all the questions. So many messages on my Instagram story. Honestly, so cool to see that you guys have so many questions. Maybe down the road this year, I'll do another Q&A with Johnny Q. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining. Please remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And as always, guys, thank you for watching the Johnny Q channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.